Well, crossing roads r remains a major challenge for children, especially uh, when they do not have assistance from the elderly. Some students of the Wadara Basic School have a solution. My colleague, Prince Owusu Anta, has more uh, in this after the students exhibited the device at the Ghana Science and Tech Explorer Prize G-Step Exhibition Challenge. Press on the siren here. That will create the awareness of a driver so that the person will stop. This is illuminated child road safety device displayed by the Junior Six of Udera Basic School during the exhibition session at the G-Step Challenge. This device has a safety signpost indicating children crossing and an arm-like stop sign with lead inscribed in the writings of the stop sign. It works by holding the shaft of the stop sign to alert incoming vehicles to stop for school children to cross. The team demonstrated at how the device works. And then detach the IC RSD from a socket, project the hand towards the road like this, just enough to be seen by the driver. Then switch on the um, button to display the stop sign, which is quite visible at night. The team explained to join news what informed their decision. The close proximity of our school to the Okonfonochi emergency unit poses great danger to our students as sometimes our pupils are knocked down by vehicles. So we saw that there was indeed the need to bring into materialization this product and in couple with that also. A very similar incident happened in Kumasi Islamic Senior High School where um, the students had a clash with their drivers and police because they complained the drivers knocked down their students as they attempted to cross the road. All 50 schools exhibited a prototype of the device they have built. Okay, this is called COP 1.1 LPG leakage detector. And we developed this thing as a result of the death of our dear colleague, who is called Kofi Oparibia Phyllis. She lost her life as a result of gas explosion. Cow dung, grinded orange peels, grinded sawdust, lemongrass oil and neem leaves. So all these materials were mixed together with wax. So the wax is what has made it compacted like this. So we pour the mixture in a test tube and when it's got dry, we removed it. So you just, this is how you use it. You light it, draw a few of the liquid and stick it to the saucer and put it at a place. Well, joining me uh, via Zoom now is project consultant uh, at Dream Oval Foundation, organizers of the G-Step uh, Challenge, uh, Francis Ahiniafo. Thank you, sir, for joining us here on the poll. So, some great innovation moves there by school children, uh, and I, I understand it's all part of the G-Step Challenge. Uh, what's the next phase or next chapter for this um, vision that you have to empower younger ones to, to uh, be abreast with time in terms of what's happening uh, in the digital world? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Um, well, as you can see, I mean, our kids have done extremely well and for such, a, for such great inventions and innovations, we cannot push them under the carpet or push them in a corner somewhere for it to collect dust. We need to ensure that we build upon this one or we build upon some of them or all of the ideas that these kids submitted. So the next phase of the program is to source for funding engage other institutions, engage other corporate bodies to see how best we can support these young people to further develop their product, to get some of them on the market. Thankfully, um, in our engagement with Fidelity Bank, um, the MD of Fidelity Bank has promised to pick on some of these ideas and support them. Okay, so Fidelity is going to, um, I, we're going to have a meeting with their team, see which of these products we can support for them to improve upon them and see how best we can get some on the market. We're also engaging other organizations um, to see how best um, we can improve upon the ideas that these kids have developed. Because as you can see from, um, from the videos, some of the ideas that the kids came up with are ideas that need just a little touch up and we are ready to go to market. And we are willing to see that happen. We don't want to push this away at all. This must be improved upon. We need to ensure that this is, is ready and this is made available so Ghanaians can see um, the end result of ideas like this and how we can also use some of these ideas to touch the rest of the world. Uh, is it your plan to reach out to other schools? Absolutely, absolutely. So we, um, as part of the award ceremony, we've launched the challenge again for 2023 and we are going to open up for a lot more schools. So 
in, in the 2022 edition, we um, selected we, or we shortlisted 50 finalists. In 2023, we are going to shortlist 100 finalists. So we've increased the number by 100%. And yes, we are reaching out to other regions as well. So we are trying to grow organically. And um, we've run this in two regions. We are adding a third region. Eastern region will be our third region. And then we will scale up gradually to ensure that every region in, in Ghana is, um, is impacted by this program. So definitely, we are going to reach out to more schools and get them on board. Well, uh, well, we'll wait to see what the future holds for GSTEP, but I'm grateful for your time uh, that uh, Francis Ahinafo, uh, of course, 